Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of Maximizing Your Virtual Music Classroom. In our previous episode, we talked about web cameras. Webcams are, in a nutshell, a cost-efficient and simple way to upgrade your video setup. They are plug and play, so there's usually no driver installation needed. Just plug the end of the USB camera into your computer and voila! You have yourself a new video source to select in your conferencing app such as Skype or Zoom or even in use for YouTube live streams or to record videos. But if you want to go a step further, let's look at another range of cameras and namely video camcorders. Video camcorders are a great means of capturing an entire recital or concert. Some of the pros that video camcorders have, they are video centric, which means that the features built into the camera are all made for video. They are robust, they have mostly built-in stabilization, which means if you don't put your video camera on a tripod, but you rather prefer to hold it in your hand, then it will minimize the shake as you're moving the camera around. So it creates a much more smoother panning and tilting motion. There are usually different kinds of stabilization methods. There is in-body stabilization, in-lens stabilization for some interchangeable lens cameras, and there is also digital stabilization. So when I talk about inbuilt stabilization, I'm talking about buying a camera which has in-body stabilization, which means that inbuilt into the camera, there, the lens itself is on a, how do you say, a kind of stabilized axis so that it compensates when you're shaking too much to the right, it will move to the left automatically to keep it stable. And this is the best kind of stabilization. Of course, with digital stabilization, you can always activate it as well if there's that option in the menu. So you get even more enhanced stabilized footage. Video camcorders usually have a very good battery life and a powered option, which means you can just plug it into a wall socket and then continue recording on end until your memory card or hard drive fills up. And this is a big advantage because if you're recording a concert, which you know a solo recital is usually already an hour and a half at least for us pianists, then it's going to come in very useful to not have to worry about batteries. <laughs> Also, video camcorders have unlimited recording time. And as you will see with other cameras, this is usually not the case. The cons of video camcorders is that they are often not optimized for photography. It means that you can take photos with them, but the quality of the photos will not be on par with a DSLR camera or mirrorless cameras. Also because of the kind of lens that a video camera usually has. So it has inferior depth of view on most cases. Video camcorders are usually great for shooting documentaries. It can also focus on many subjects at one time. So what exactly is depth of view? Depth of view is the technical term used to describe the camera's ability to separate the subject from the background. For example, if I switch over to camera one here, You see that my face is very much in focus, but my chair isn't. And the closer I get to the camera, which means the further my head is away from my chair, the blurrier, the less in focus my chair will become. Just watch. Do you see that? Because my camera is being taught to recognize my face, actually my eye, I have iris recognition on. So it is focusing primarily on my face and it's blowing out whatever it can't focus on. So if I move my head all the way back to my chair, my chair is now more in focus because the camera can focus now on both me and to a certain extent the chair as my head is almost at the same focal length or focal distance as my chair. Think of it this way. The human eye functions similarly. If you look now around you, you can see quite a few number of objects in focus in your line of sight. But let's say you put a finger right in front of you, really, really close, and you try to focus on your finger. 
immediately you will see that everything around you is blurred out. You are tr only focusing now. The only clear uh, object is your finger. And now when you look to a further object, your finger becomes blurred out. And then you focus again on your finger. The rest of the stuff in the background is blurred out. So this is the equivalent of that for few for us. With video camcorders, like the one I'm using for my keyboard view, let's switch back to it. You can see that almost my entire keyboard is in focus here. Here the focus gets a bit soft, but for the most part, the keyboard is in focus. And the, the camcorder is just placed next to the keyboard. If I were to use a mirrorless camera or a DSLR with a good lens, then most probably you'll be able to only take this part or, or like focus on only one part of the keyboard and the rest will be all blurred out. Of course, you can step down the aperture, which is something else that um, I won't go into depth. But I mean, there are also trade-offs for that. So video camcorders are made in such a way that they are being optimized for documentary videography, for example. So you can capture much more in the frame. So on to the buyer's guide. We have leading brands of video camcorders by Sony, JVC, Panasonic, and Canon. Once again, there are others and I'm not covering everything, but these are the leading brands here. And what you see, these five models are trending models as of now. Clean HDMI out is very important factor when you're buying any sort of camera. And why is this so? You will find out later that we will need to feed this HDMI out into the computer in order for the computer to recognize it as a webcam and display the image on screen. So there must be a way for the camera to output its picture via HDMI. Some cameras even have the option of plugging in a USB cable from your camera straight to your PC and then you can use it straight as a webcam as well. This varies model to model, so you have to check with your camera's manufacturer's website to see if there's such an option and if there's an option of software that you have to download for the feature to work. But if that's the case, then it saves you a step of buying a converter, which I will cover later. So what do I mean by clean HDMI out? So HDMI out means it displays what the camera is seeing via HDMI to an external source of your choice. But we don't want all the overlays of the camera to also be displayed. For example, we don't want to see the recording time, the frame rate, or the battery life, and so on and so forth while we are transmitting the signal to our computer or to an external monitor. So make sure your camera has an option to disable the overlay display so it only displays the picture and nothing else via the HDMI out. By default, most cameras have this option, but it's always good to check nevertheless. So I would highly recommend that you get a 4K video camcorder because this is standard nowadays. There's no point in getting a full HD video camcorder anymore unless money is really an issue for you. A 4K video camcorder is useful even if you can't really output in 4K in Zoom or Skype. But when you record, for example, a concert in 4K, and even if you want to upload it at the end of the day to YouTube in only full HD, it allows you still the flexibility of cropping in or zooming into the picture in your video editing program without losing any quality. Let me explain. For example, you take a video in 4K, which is in about 4,000 pixels, if you're talking about the width, okay? And then we import it into Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro or any of these video editing apps. But you specify that you want your workspace to only be full HD. Full HD meaning 1920 width times 1080 height. So you imported a 4000 pixel video image into a 1920, nearly 2000, let's round it off, workspace. So now you have an extra 2000 pixels which will be discarded when you output your video, when you export your video. The advantage of having the extra number of pixels is that you can do zooming in and stuff and panning shots and stuff 
without the noticeable degradation of quality.